What's up guys, Justin here with the Fusion Essentials. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about the new solid sweep function that was just added in Fusion 360. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, and so Fusion 360 already had a sweep tool built in and I've done a video on this. I probably need to update it because it's a little old, but basically the way that it worked is you could take a profile, so like a two dimensional sketch and you could sweep it along a surface, right? So you could select, in this case, we want the single path, you'd select a surface, and then you'd select the path right here. And what it would do is it would sweep this along the path and remove material. So pretty cool tool. Um, but what they've added in this new version is they've added the ability to do that sweep function using three-dimensional solid geometry. So say that we've got a different body over here. So same kind of principle, but it's something that's already been revolved into 3D. And then you've got a path on this surface. So in this case, I've created something maybe a little more curved than I want. So we might edit that sketch just a little bit in order to move those points so that it's not so close to that geometry up above. But um, we've got a path in here. Well, now if you activate the sweep function, you're gonna have an option in here for solid sweep. And so what solid sweep is gonna do is it's gonna allow you to select a body. So in this case, this body right here and a path. So I'm gonna pick this path and we're gonna have to wait a second. So notice that this solid sweep function is a little heavier on your computer, but basically what it's doing is it's using the geometry of your shape in order to sweep. So it's using a solid as a sweep. It's actually sweeping the whole thing along this path. Now I'm getting a little bit of funky geometry in here, just having to do with, again, this sketch that's in here. But remember that the way that Fusion 360 works, if I finalize this and then I right click on that sketch, and I edit it. So in this case, I'm gonna take this sketch, I'm gonna move this control point back over here so that corner is not as tight. What that's gonna do is that's going to adjust your solid sweep functionality as well. Now, this can be extremely valuable if you have a three-dimensional shape that you want to use in order to create like an opening. So the example I've seen a lot is like a pin in a slot. So if we were to activate the sweep tool right here, again, we want solid sweep. We're gonna select this object and we're gonna select this path right here, click on OK. What that's going to do is that's going to remove material everywhere that, that pin would go. So you can use this with an existing pin in order to remove material like this. Now there are interesting functions with this because if you were to use this to create a pin with kind of like a cutout down below, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take a look at this and we're going to activate sweep. We're gonna do the same thing. So pick this path right here. Notice how this is going to remove that material and it's really good for figuring out kind of those more complex cuts on those surfaces, right? So if you wanted this to be something that would go in and out right here, you could definitely do that. Now notice that if you didn't want this to go all the way out, there is a function in here that allows you to limit how far this goes. So you could limit it so that you do get a slot kind of right here um, along that path in order to generate a slot that an object could follow along. Um, now, there, I was trying to think about situations where I would use this over the regular sweep function. And so I think it's going to be whenever you have objects that actually are three-dimensional. So like, for example, this might be something that you uh, might have a little bit of trouble creating a two-dimensional profile of. I mean, you obviously could. Um, you could come in here and you could draw this, but I've modeled this 3D shape. Well, I can now take this three-dimensional shape, use it as a sweep. So I'm gonna take this body, pick this path, and I can use it in order to cut out or cut an object and remove material in here just like this. So um, from that standpoint, pretty cool. One thing about this that is kind of interesting is it does have to do with the actual location of the object relative to the path, right? So if I was to go back in and I'm going to edit this object, I'm going to move it. So I'm going to pick this body. We'll just do a simple translate. So I'm gonna move it up a little bit. Now that might get a little bit weird with my upper geometry in here, but if I move it up, click on OK, and then I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna move that, mo I'm gonna drag that movement before my solid sweep in here. Notice how the location of that object is affecting this. So if I was to come back in here and edit that movement again, say this time, instead of having a movement, I used kind of a rotation factor 
like this, and we'll just do this for the sake of our example. Notice how this extrusion is going to adjust based on wherever that object is in a three-dimensional space. So from that standpoint, being able to use three-dimensional objects in here as sweeps is kind of an interesting and fun function. Now, the other thing you can do is with the results, so this one right here, for example, um, I wanna take this result that was generated in here and I want to create a circular pattern. So I'm gonna do a create pattern, circular pattern like this. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pick a feature like this one. And then we're going to adjust this and I probably need to add a axis through cylinder real quick so that I have it. But now if we do a circular pattern like this, we're going to pick this feature and we're going to pick this axis. Notice how I can use this to create a circular array and click on OK. Well, now what that's done is that's generated this one slot right here. And then I've taken that array function and I've multiplied that slot multiple different times like this. So that allows us to basically take the result that's generated by this and then copy it multiple times in a circle. All right, so that's kind of an overview of the solid sweep function. Leave a comment below. Let me know if this is something you would use. I'm kind of interested to see what the use cases would be for this particular tool. I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.